Hi there, and uh, I'm going to continue with my uh, deep dive into 1970. It's time for a new genre, and uh, today I'm going to do the first uh, video uh, on West Coast bands or artists from the United States. And in 1970, there was a lot of them, and I think I'm going to need probably three videos to cover all of the albums that I have uh, access to in my collection. Uh, now, just to remind you, most of my collection now is in digital format. I do have some uh, vinyl and I have quite a few cassettes, uh, but living uh, in Southeast Asia, in Thailand, um, to maintain a video vinyl, sorry, a vinyl collection, it's just uh, impossible, really, because there's just no shops. And uh, to uh, buy vinyl via uh, Discogs or any others, uh, the, the additional postage and the possibility that it won't get here anyway because of a corrupt post office. Uh, so uh, that's a brief explanation of why um, I'm into digital. Then with the first, uh, and I think I'll probably get in four, maybe four albums in this uh, particular video. Uh, first one's American Beauty by The Grateful Dead, the second album that they released in 1970. I have got a more extensive uh, review of this uh, album on my channel in the 1970 playlist, if you're uh, interested. But um, this is... Uh, particularly my favourite um, uh, because uh, it was less self-indulgent as far as I saw it and more uh, into a more leisurely country rock uh, style with shorter songs. I really couldn't get into those 20-minute uh, psychedelic jams that they're uh, very famous for. And uh, I, I, I must admit... Um, uh, this one has really uh, kept my interest, uh, and it uh, it's got a it's still got a, a very much an American country feel to it, and it's also got a very <laughs> a, a feeling of of being stoned when you watch, uh, when you're listening to it, and uh, the music mixes uh, very well with a, a, a quite a, a increase in harmonies. The dead at that particular time, uh, so I read, were close friends of uh, David Crosby, Graham Nash and Stephen Stills. And they certainly brought to the table an element of the harmonics from that trio. Robert and Hunter are still uh, writing the lyrics and very good they are too. And uh, uh, they, they really... Um, has I think this uh, has a very nice feel to it. Run through the tracks very quickly. Box of Rain, the opener, uh, with uh, Phil Leash on vocals. Um, the, again, the Dead had a number of singers, uh, and they uh, basically shared the vocal duties around. Lots of guitars layered on this one, and Hunter uh, responded to Leash's request to... Uh, write a song about his dying father and this was it it's a nice gentle melody I think and a, a very nice tri tribute song Friends of the Devil is uh, the next one and it's a very sing-along country folk uh, song with a Garcia on mandolin Sugar Magnolia a bluegrass approach to this one and some catchy guitar riffs with a bit of pedal steel guitar thrown in as well it works very well. A do 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 chorus, uh, you might recall. Operator. Um, this has got Pigpen McKinnon on vocals, and he also plays a harmonica. Candyman. A much longer song, this one. Uh, a slow place electric folk blues. Uh, and it has some heavenly pedal steel guitar work uh, thrown in uh, in the middle. And uh, also... There's an amalgam of piano and organ turning up late on. And it's a personal favourite of mine. Ripple continues the quality. Slide guitar from Garcia. Very poignant. And it's got a sort of Hey Jude type sing-along, I think, at the end. 
broke down palace, less memorable, uh, lots of uh, harmonies and uh, nice piano. It's a slow country folk song, basically. Till the morning comes. I like this one, a quicker tempo here. And there's nice uh, uh, picking guitar work by Garcia. And then Attics of My Life is a bit of a dirge, uh, but there's an excellent three-point part harmony. And uh, the finale, of course, is the road song, Trucking. And if you can't get your feet tap into this one, there really must be something wrong with you. Country uh, folk rock. Uh, and it deserved ever, every accolade it received. And it's a, a classic. So that's my first album, a, a thoroughly enjoyable American beauty. I'm going to throw in a, a, a brief uh, lyric here. I'm not going to read them all uh, because it will take too long. But um, this uh, first lyric then from uh, The Grateful Dead uh, is the Box of Rain uh, lyric. Look out of any window, any morning, any evening, any day. Maybe the sun is shining, birds are winging, or rain is falling from a heavy sky. What do you want me to do, to do for you, to see you through? For this is all a dream we've dreamed one afternoon long ago. Talk out of any doorway. I feel your way, feel your way like the day before. Maybe you'll find direction around some corner where it's been waiting to meet you. Now, the slide is on the video, so you can read it all at your leisure. To the second selection then on my uh, roundup of 1970 on the West Coast, and I've chosen number five, which was the fifth album, surprisingly, by the Steve Miller Band. Now, I'm already uh, halfway through a Steve Miller appreciation of his early career and I will be uh, doing this album in some depth so this review is really a very much an abridged version um, the first three tracks on the first side are absolutely idyllic and they sort of segue together good morning I love you and going to the country they're uh, well they're absolutely tremendous it's uh, a very sort of psychedelic sort of rock soft rock film feel with some vocal harmonies that are uh, a special for me lots of acoustic guitar melodies uh, and those harmonies drench the songs and uh, there's a, 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 a certainly a little bit of blues spirited harmonica on going to the country and I, I, I really it really set me off on this album which was uh, actually the first album that I bought uh, new uh, by the Steve Miller Brown in the year that it was released. Uh, and then it follows up with a couple of less, less stunning tracks on side one. Uh, as I say, Hot Chili's got a nice uh, trumpet Latino style uh, in it and Mexican food uh, has never tasted better when uh, uh, Miller indulges himself with a little riba riba. Uh, Tokens, that's closer on side one, is a fast country rock song, really. More harmonica. And some banjo sweeps in there. Um, it's pretty tasty. Side two, then. Uh, going to Mexico, a rock blue standard, really. Um, and it's got some powerful vocals by Miller. But the second track is my favourite. It's called Steve Miller's Midnight Tango. It's only two and a half minutes. It's got an experimental psychedelic feel to it. Dance driven. It's very much the tango. Uh, Miller's singing is full of seductive charm. And the lounge jazz mood is a cinch for romance, I find. It, the tingling cubals are lush. Uh, written by... Uh, the keyboardist on this album, Bed Sidran. Next up is a, a, a pure rocker, uh, Industrial Military Complex X. And then we have a seven minute indulgent blues called Jackson Kemp Blues. Uh, and his guitar, Miller's, uh, uh, is really on show here. He shows his talent, uh, almost Hendrix-like on Wawa at times, 
but less uh, indulgent, it has to be said. Uh, spacey jam is the way I'd describe it. Uh, it's a little over-indulgent, uh, unless, of course, you're stoned out of your mind. And then uh, the closer, Never Kill Another Man, is a, a string-laden ballad for piano. Um, altogether, a, a, a top-quality uh, album, and uh, if you've never heard it, uh, get to see it and get to listen to it. And here's an extract from uh, number five. And as predicted, really, I'm going to choose Steve Miller's Midnight Tango. The lyrics aren't that uh, great, but I, I like it. You have a cup of coffee and another cigarette. You're waiting for your baby, but she hasn't shown yet. And if she doesn't make it, well, you've got no regrets because you can't win or lose if you ain't made no bets. And then she comes in walking, looking fine as you please. You want to stop and drop right down on your knees and say, baby, way. You say you never, you say you never worry because you don't feel at home. Don't need an address, don't need a phone. And you don't have no to worry about being alone because you can make your music on a 10 cent column. And then she comes in walking, looking fine as you please. You want to stop and drop right down on your knees and say, baby, whoa. One on this uh, uh, first video about West Coast uh, bands on, in 1970 is Abraxas by Santana, uh, of course out of San Francisco. It was their second release. Uh, the title of the album originates from a line in a Herman Hess book, Damien, which I read many moons ago, and it's quoted on the album's back cover. We, we, this is the uh, 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 words. We stood before it and began to freeze inside from the exertion. We questioned the painting, berated it, made love to it, prayed to it. We called it mother, we called it whore, and shit called it our beloved, called it Abraxas. Right, well, that's a pretty strong introduction. And this album, I think, was a big march forward after the opener, which was largely a, 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 an indulgent into a, a Latino percussive rock music. Uh, here we've got much more variety. There's some blues, there's some, some rock, there's salsa, there's some soul, there's fusion, and of course there are uh, some amazing covers on this. Uh, Green's Black Magic Woman, Gabo Zabo's Gypsy Queen, and Tito Puento's Oma Kovia. I got that wrong. Oma Koma Va. Got it. And uh, there's and also a, a brilliant uh, uh, mellow moment on Incident at Nesheba, uh, which hurls towards the finish. Uh, with that future fusion orientated rock di direction. Uh, side two, I, I'm not going into those famous tracks because I'll do it on a fuller um, video. You, you know, uh, most people will know about Black Magic Woman and uh, Gypsy Queen segway together. It's, it's absolutely uh, out of this world. And the Omo Komova, of course, is a dance man's paradise if he's looking off for the ladies. Side two has the idyllic Samba Pati, which translated means Samba for you. Uh, and this, uh, this slow ballad, when I arrived in Thailand and I'd go to a bar with music, uh, the vast majority of uh, local bands in bar settings outside with a very warm environment, the guitarist will have learned how to play the solo, uh, Carlos's solo, on Samba, ba, samba Bati. So uh, to say I, I, it rings in my ears quite comfortably is uh, a, certainly a reflection on how often I've heard it. It's an exquisite piece, seductive, full of uh, slow rhythm, and it's got a, a, a tremendous feel about it. Of course, the Santana band, a bevy of polyrhythmic percussionists uh, to uh, fill out the sound. And then the keyboards 
keyboardist vocalist Greg Rowley. I think his song songwriting's pretty average, but his singing is pretty first class. Uh, anyway, that's uh, the first bit of this review on Abraxas. So the final uh, album I want to uh, look at briefly in this video uh, is Morrison Hotel by The Doors. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's fair to say that prior to this album's release, the Soft Parade, the release from 69, hadn't gone down too well with either fans or critics. And uh, The Doors were re looking really to bounce back a bit. Um, you know, there was a lot of criticism of that previous album, although it is a, a grower and uh, I've grown to love it. However, uh, Jim Morrison's uh, conviction for obscenity was also weighing the band down. That was for exposing himself at a concert in Miami and which forced the cancellation of future gigs. Uh, so uh, that was another factor that was... Uh, it, not assisting the band in terms of their popularity. Uh, and uh, so uh, the fifth studio album arrived in 1970 and uh, the, we all, the record company certainly was hoping that uh, they could recover that lost ground. And they sure did. Two locations are represented <coughs> on the cover uh, and uh, they're... Uh, the two uh, places uh, that are featured on the first side and the second side. Uh, the Hard Rock Cafe uh, in Los Angeles and the uh, Morrison Hotel also featured in that city. So as we uh, now get to the point, I'm going to look at some of the tracks. So side one then was called uh, Hard Rock uh, Cafe. And we got off to a tremendous start with Roadhouse Blues. It's absolutely stupendous. A fantastic sound. You can drink to it. You can dance to it. You can sing along to it. It thumps and pounds along its groove. <laughs> it's a tremendous vehicle for Jim Morrison, who gives it his all. And a guest on harmonica, one John Sebastian uh, from Loving Spoonful. And it's blues fueled rock and roll. Lonnie Mack, uh, uh, quite a famous musician uh, of its is that time, appeared on bass. The second track, Waiting for the Sun, uh, the same title as a previous album of theirs, and it was left over from that session. And uh, it's a, a classic Doors. Uh, Manzarek plays a spacey harpsichord, uh, and Kruger. Krieger, sorry, not Kruger, offers some trippy sly guitar. And Jim, of course, eases us over the roller coaster of probably being stoned. Third track is You Make Me Real. This is a real frash and it under, underscores the blues rock motif with rolling electric piano, stinging guitar vamps, and Densmore's swaggering shuffle on drums. Morrison lords over all with his boozy baritone roar. And then to Peace Frog. Uh, a lot of funky guitar on this. It combines with the keyboards. It's a political a a a a activist song about the uh, civil civic unrest at the time. And there's a spoken stanza uh, in, uh, in the middle of this uh, uh, about the optimistic poem. Uh, of being newborn, being awakened. And uh, it's difficult not to be awake when you get into the explosive guitar bite from Kruger and Ray's Neapolitan plays... Ne sorry, Ray Nepo Neapolitan plays bass on this and it segues into blue, the Sunday Blue Sunday Blue. I'm making a right hash of this, but Blue Sunday, I've got it. Um, very doomy, very miserable, and uh, without atmosphere, I felt. And then the final track on this first side is Ship of Fools, which has a very happy melody and some sprawling Manzarat keyboards. Side two, the Morrison Hotel side, uh, is 
It's pretty good. Oh, it's not their best work by any shadow, but after the soft parade, it's back to uh, what they were famous for, really. Land Ho starts us off, groovy and funky. Um, it's got a sprawling rock and roll sea chanty feel that skips out at you, and it's dominated once again by Manzarak's keyboards uh, with short Kruger Krager solos. Let's get it right. Uh, Jim gets a few snarls in to generate more energy. The Spies next. Bluesy, fine piano. Uh, minor key intro is framed by jazzy electric piano. And uh, Jim's vocals are pretty sultry. Then we've got Queen of the Highway. Uh, Densmore's uh, powerful drumming here. And M Manzarak's created use of the Rhodes piano. And it's a, a very progressive song. And then uh, Indian Summer it creates a classic atmosphere. Uh, and think of the end of uh, the first album, the called The End. And it's sort of uh, trying to replicate a bit of that. Uh, Jim's vocals, very chilling. And then the finale, which is uh, Maggie McGill with Krieger. Uh, uh, unruly uh, double tracks like guitar uh, riffs uh, being at the forefront and he sort of duels with a, a, a pulsating organ distorted by Manzarak uh, and there we are Morrison's slivering growl draws us to the conclusion just a little snippet of lyrics Jim Morrison's lyrics uh, from Peace Frog there's a blood on the streets. It's up to my ankles. She came, blood in the streets. It's up to my knee. She came, blood in the streets in the town of Chicago. She came, blood on the rise. It's following me. Think about the break of day. She came and then she drove away. Sunlight in her hair. She came, blood in the streets. Runs a river of sadness. She came, blood in the streets, it's up to my thigh. Okay, not going to over uh, pain you, uh, but uh, uh, of course Mor Morrison's lyrics uh, have been, uh, through the ages, have been uh, looked at, dissected, evaluated, and basically uh, uh, everyone's got an interpretation. So that concludes this video four albums uh that i've gone through uh and uh briefly it has to be said and i hope you enjoyed it and please let's have some of those comments uh about this video and about any other uh west coast uh albums that you feel i ought to cover i am going to look at in the second video uh uh, Spirit, uh, Sardonicus, uh, possibly an album by Creedence Clearwater Revival, also Captain Beefheart, Lick My Decals Off, Baby, and possibly a Frank Zappa, uh, Burnt Weenie Sandwich, and then uh, there's a few others, uh, Quicksilver Menacinger Service, and uh, Poco. Whew. Oh, and Country Joe and the Fish. Okay, that's my lot. Thanks.